Hey guys, it's Martin, and um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to download a Cadillac Escalade mod uh, uh, add-on. So, uh, this is for GTA. Um, so basically, I got the link in the description, so you just go to the link in the description. You um, get brought to this website, gtainside.com, and um, it, it does look kind of sketch. It's not like anything else I've seen. A um, lot of ads, but... Um, you just come here, you click download, do anything like this, you just close it out, and then you click here, start download, and it starts downloading. Now, if it does redirect you, because I don't know if it does, but if it does redirect you, don't close out that redirect, just come back, start the download, and then if it starts downloading, then you close it out. Um, that seems to always work for me. So, um, yeah, so just do that. So, for, so, um, once you get it, I'm gonna drag that right there. Uh, it's gonna look like this. Uh, you also do need script hook uh, v.net, script hook 5, whatever people call it. And um, I would recommend using WinRAR. It is gonna give you little notifications if I keep opening it enough. Uh, we'll see a little notification here. Should maybe open this. Yep, right there. It tells you to like buy the full thing, but you don't need to. It is kind of it's just kind of annoying. So you're gonna come here. Also gonna need to open up OpenIV and um, Windows, and obviously your is GTA, so you just click on GTA 5 Windows, drag it over here, um, edit mode on, okay, so what we are going to do is we're going to go to the add-on, because we're, we're going to add it on today, there is a readme, so you can, we, I guess we will go off by this, go, go by this, <laughs> um, okay, so, going to go add-on, um all right wait place installation or place installation uh, um this is kind of annoying place the text accordingly um I'm confused uh why is it? Okay, we're gonna do this. This this is the add-on. Uh, let me. Okay, yeah, this is. Alrighty, so here's your DLC RPF. So what you do with your DLC RPF? So you're gonna. So uh, if you don't know how pathways work, uh, it's gonna tell you to go GTA 5 mods update 1064 DLC packs. So since we're look, if you look up here, we have OpenIV. So that's not gonna be in here. GTA 5. Um. So we can open our mods update time 64 dlc packs then look we're here we got some like a denali mod uh silverado charger we got oh god um we got another silverado uh, 06 sierra stuff like that so we're just gonna take this drag this in drop it you're not done yet okay so we have cesc21 so now we're gonna go to our DLC list XML. Now to get to our DLC list XML, I believe it is. So mods time sixty four. I'm wrong. Mods update, update RPF, uh, DLC patch, and then I'm wrong. Um, it's a common data. Now we're here. Then down here you have the DLC list XML again. Make sure you have edit mode on. You're going to want to right click, don't left click, don't double left click, you're going to right click it, and then go to edit, because you can't edit it if you open it like that. So, we're going to scroll over here, scroll all the way down, as you can see I have other stuff, it doesn't matter what you have right here. You just need an item, DLC packs, uh, that thing, slash, blah blah blah, item. You're going to copy that, you're going to go to the end of this, click enter, control, and then paste there. And you see where it actually has like the Denali name right there, we're going to get rid of that. And um, you're gonna uh, type in uh, C E S C 21, it's a Cadillac Escalade 21. And all you're gonna do is save, and then that's it. It's incredibly easy. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. I'm gonna show you guys how to actually use it in game. So we're gonna launch up GTA 5 here, and uh, yeah. I'll show you. In, I'll show you it in 
game, I guess. No, I'm just gonna skip this part. That's a good idea. Now, I do want to say one quick thing. Um, I just want to tell you guys to not, don't, this obviously isn't going to work online. So don't try it online. You could get permanently banned, especially if you already have an account online. I don't have an account online. And um, my GTA was broken for a while and it would not load into story mode. So I have to load into online, then get it, then it'll bring me into story mode because it detects I have mods in. But unless you have made an account, I just wouldn't even try it anyways. Um, I could have gotten in big trouble, so just don't try it. Um, don't try loading into online, because this is not an online mod, and you can't get mods online. <laughs> so, here we are. Um, I'm going to full screen this, because my I feel like it, and that would just look better. Oh my god. Okay. Uh. Oops. Okay. So, uh, we're over here. Now, if you don't have menu or a normal or like the native trainer for uh, with uh, script hook, that's fine. Uh, you can just go download those real quick. They're super easy to download just at drag and drop. So, into your GTA 5 main directory. Um. So here we got menu. We're gonna go to vehicle options, vehicle spawner, go up, and then you got input model. So it's the C E S C twenty one. Spawn it in, and here you go. Uh it is. It sounds like a diesel for some reason. Um, it's got those big headlights in the back. We're going to. Oh, it's got even got the spare wheel. Okay, 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 okay. I'll make the time. All right, so. It is white, super bright, holy crap. It is really tall, too. Um, we'll quickly look inside the interior. Uh, it's a little... You know, it's GTA-like. Like a GTA mod. That's a... Wait. Okay, not a lot of room in the trunk. We got screens. We got... Oops. We got more screens. We got some nice wood. It's pretty nice. Um, we'll open up all the doors. See if there's engine models in it and whatnot. Um... That's not how you do it. Any customs? Go to. Nope, no extras. Doors. Go all. Oh, okay. So we get do have an engine model. Um. It looks like a Chevy, <laughs> or that is a Cadillac and a model, but looks like the doors are nice, nicely um made. Okay. It's really nice. Um. Yeah. So, we'll close this. Oh, uh, you're gonna go first person, see what it looks like. Okay, yeah, I do have ELS downloaded, so that's a little bright. It probably won't be like that for you. It feels great. It's pretty fast. It can drift a little bit. <laughs> We're gonna get one good drift in. Okay, that was pretty cool. Okay, I'm playing on mouse and keyboard. Oh, maybe we'll look at the damage modeling. Um, okay, yeah, that, it does look pretty good. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you want any more mod tutorials, leave it in the comments and I'll definitely be sure to do them. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, have a good night, good day, wherever you are, and, uh, Da, 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 da. Uh, eat food. Food good. Yes.